identity. This one's actually harder. Anyone can define identity? Well, I looked, I went on to dictionary.com earlier, uh, as you do, and I, and I liked this definition. It's the act of being who or what a person or thing is. Everybody probably here has their own favorite swimming hole or places they like to know. And resilience, then, is the quality of relationships between people. And it just spoke to me that this is silt, thousands of years old. Best agricultural soils in those areas, so there's more kind of focus from our societal point of view on those parts of the river. So river sociology is that the health of, of, of that place is really contingent not only on the ecology there, but the relationships between the people. The water, the land, and all of those that inhabit the land. We're part of that circle. We are not separate from nature. The most significant community building event of, of my life was it began the day after Irene. You know, when we all started coming together from all walks of our community. Take this fight and fire home to your community. Urge people to become aware and involved in their watersheds. What is your watershed address? How many of you know your watershed address? Mm. Right? We have some homework to do, folks. <laughs> My watershed address is Green River. Most of my identity is connected with the cutting of trees and, and the making of things on that river, and, and, and that's really important, but other people have different identities with that river. Maybe it's, it's loving the ecology of it, maybe it's, um, it's recreating on it. All of that is important. It's my outdoor kitchen and my sanctuary where I immerse myself in the water when it's hot and I don't come out. <laughs> Quite half of the stuff we do is, is really directly looking at swimming holes because they're very much part of the Vermont culture. Um, they're for everybody. But also recognizing that, that we all interact with them. We all, everybody you know, has different types of interactions with them and trying to accommodate that. Part of taking that fight and fire home was also looking into the different threats in our watersheds. The slide of August 28, 2011, and our whole world changed the next day. because we now were part of this new understanding about how real we have to deal with the changing climate that we have, and that we should expect more Irene's in the future, and we should understand how we have to be prepared for that. One of the things that I'm so moved by about this project um, that is digging at how to create a watershed identity is at the core of it, it's about developing empathy for other people. We also wanted to symbolize this collective nature of the water. Just like a stone gets carried from the headwaters down through, through tributaries and carried into a main stem of a river, um, we, we all kind of came from different areas to arrive. Oh, pick a stone. We all came from different areas, different walks of life maybe, to kind of arrive here today with the common interest in watersheds, in rivers, and there's something I think really powerful about that.